Nobody can party like a first year varsity student. <laughs> Except maybe a second year varsity <laughs> student. <laughs> So what's really fascinating is to have seen in the evolution of Shannon the different styles. Mm -hmm. You know. When I started drinking Shannon, when it was Stian, it was always, you know, the semi-sweet and all of that. That's where we all start off. Um, but just in particular, the last six years when I've been involved properly, just the wines are getting more elegant, just more softer I, I you know just uh, you're getting a little bit more saltiness that's coming in a little bit more higher acid so the use of oak traditionally i mean as we like to do in south africa has just been taken back to just to to be able to express the fruit mm -hmm. in its entirety you're now looking at, at all sorts of fermentations wild yeast um, special, specific cultivated yeast, mm -hmm. um, different vessels for fermentation, all the way to kind of quaveries, um, clay pots, um, stainless steel, I mean, old bathtubs, let's face it, <laughs> anything you could do. I mean, barrels, and to, to your point on wood, barrels are becoming more and more neutral with older oak being, mm -hmm. where you're looking at the functionality of that barrel and the, the micro-oxygenation rather than the oak flavor. I, I think over the last few years, we've also started understanding our climate and our terroir. And we know that what we have sunshine here, everything's bright and everything. So we're starting to understand that just letting it sit until it's sort of like your late harvest is not exactly what we're getting. We want to show sunshine in a bottle. So you pick it a little bit earlier and it's just bright and it's sparkling and you sit on a hot day like this, it's just... Way to go. Thank you. <laughs>